Welcome to the PV Analyzer video training series by Solmetric. Solmetric is a leader in solar PV test and measurement equipment, and these short videos are designed to help you get started using Solmetric products. This video will show you how to start the PV Analyzer's PC software and set up a PV performance model. Your measurement results are automatically compared with the predictions of this model, allowing you to see how your measured results compare with what you should be getting under the current conditions. The PV Analyzer software can be installed in any computer running Windows 7, Vista, or XP. The minimum resolution is 1024 by 600, so it's designed to fit well even within the smaller displays of handheld tablet PCs. The wireless USB adapter enables the computer to communicate with the IV measurement unit and must be available when installing the software. Run the install program and insert the wireless USB adapter into the USB port when prompted. The newest version of the software is available for download from the Solmetric website and installation takes only a few minutes. Before starting the PV Analyzer software for a measurement session, connect the wireless USB adapter to a USB port. If you wish to use the wireless sensor kit for real-time irradiance and temperature measurements, also connect the wireless sensor kit USB receiver. Then start the PV Analyzer software. Observe that the status reads, No IV Unit. That's because the measurement unit is still turned off. You will turn it on later when you are ready to take a measurement. If the status reads, No USB Wireless, select Settings from the Utility drop-down menu and select the COM port with the plus symbol next to it. Set up a new performance model by selecting New from the Model drop-down menu. To set up a performance model, you should enter the required information in all the tabs on the left side of the display. We will go through each one. First, in the Name tab, enter a name for the model and add any notes you would like to document. In the Location tab, enter the Latitude, Longitude, and Time Zone for the test site. In the Modules String tab, select Detailed Performance Model, and then select the PV module manufacturer and model you wish to test from the included database. If your PV module is not included in the Detailed Performance Model database, select Simple Performance Model, then press the Edit button and enter datasheet specifications for that module. Lastly, enter the number of modules in the string and the number of strings in parallel that you would like to test. In the Inverter tab, select the Inverter Manufacturer and Model from the included database. If you choose to use this feature, part of the IV trace graph will be shaded in green to indicate the maximum power tracking voltage range of the inverter. This feature is for visual reference only and does not affect the IV measurement or the PV model. In the Wiring tab, enter the wire gauge and the estimated one-way wire length from the PV analyzer to the string under test. In the Sensor Methods tab, select your desired method for determining the irradiance and temperature. The most accurate and convenient method is to use the wireless sensor kit, for which you would select Use Wireless Irradiance Sensor and Use Wireless Temperature Sensor. Be sure to enter the Irradiance Sensor Cal Factor from the sticker on the body of the sensor. Also, enter an estimated temperature offset. This is the temperature rise from the temperature sensor on the back of the PV module to the actual PV cells encapsulated within the module. If you wish to use another type of irradiance and temperature sensor, select Enter Solar Irradiance Manually and Enter Module Temperature Manually. Enter the measured irradiance and temperature in this tab immediately before each measurement. If you do not wish to use irradiance and temperature measurements, select Determine Irradiance from IV Curve and Determine Temperature from IV Curve. In this mode of operation, the PV software will calculate an effective irradiance and cell temperature from the measured values of short circuit current and open circuit voltage. See the user guide for the uses and limitations of this mode. In the Array Plane tab, enter the slope and azimuth of the modules under test. The azimuth is the direction the panels face measured in degrees from true north. True south, for instance, is 180 degrees. Once you have completed defining the performance model, press OK. Note that your model has been saved, and you can recall it at any time from the model's browse menu. The next step is to set up the IV measurement unit and connect it properly. This is covered in the next video. 
Thank you for watching.